time to play DDLC Longer Roads. <laughs> Country Roads, <laughs> take me home. <laughs> I don't know what this mod's about, like, at all. <laughs> so, see what happens. Hey, Tubular Encore. Hope you're doing well, it's too, like, man. It's like five minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> This zero over here tried to tell me his dumbass stories, all of them. Also, I got zero in trouble with mine. Yeah, you did! You meanie. <laughs> Fox is mean. It's a little loud, you should turn it down. Loud for you. Yeah. <laughs> there. So, as far as I can tell, there's a gray there's a gray box now. <laughs> oh wow, gray logo. It means that we're MC. <laughs> it's a mod you date MC. Oh, there's chapters! Ooh! <laughs> Last time we had chapters was there was love and literature. But, but, <laughs> not love and zero. Erd, Are you making a joke? Erd, this is the sequel to Rain Clouds. No! <laughs> Are you making, are you making a joke that wait. people don't watch We Are The Literature Club 2? What do you mean? Oh, wait, that does have chapters. <laughs> oh, I thought you were making a joke. <laughs> no, I forgot. I mean, people don't, Just play but... That we literally just played that last night. I mean, people should watch Rare Lurch Cup too. It's pretty decent. <laughs> I wasn't being mean. I was making sure you told Monty that you loved her too. She knows that. You're being mean. You're being mon spooky. Monstrous. I couldn't she think was, of the word. She was, being, she was being mom? She was being monstrous. What? <laughs> Sound like you said mom. You can't listen. <laughs> Chapter one. Days gone by. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> Come on. Where are we going? You'll see. I feel a cool, a cool breeze brush against my body and a warm hand guiding me somewhere. The voice sounds familiar, but I can't make out who it is. This place, it's breathtaking. It's so beautiful. Closing my eyes, I hear the sounds of nature fill the air. It'd probably be a peaceful day if I wasn't being dragged through the woods. Oh God! <laughs> It's my alarm clock! No! <laughs> ah, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> Jump scare! Jump scare. Friggin' alarm clock, don't jump scare. I'm drinking something, sorry. <laughs> ah. I'm gonna groggily open my eyes and look over at the clock. 6.30 a.m. Why did I sit at this early? Whatever. I might as well get up. I get up slowly from my bed, regretting the fact that I woke up this early. I don't want to get up. My daily routine awaits me, though. Grab a towel and go down the hall to the bathroom. God, I look like death. Turn on my bath and wait for it to warm up. I continue to judge myself for finally jumping in the bath, the warm water providing a much needed wake up call to my body. I enjoy the warmth of the water for a good bit. After about five minutes, I finish up and get out, checking the time in the process. 6.45. Right on time. I say this like I have some sort of schedule. I improvise every morning. <laughs> I improvise every morning. <laughs> I also improvise every morning. Yeah, I know, Fox. You always wake up at 6 a.m., you weird person. I mean, actually, it's, like I said, it's a good routine to have, to be honest. It's better than me waking up at 4 p.m. <laughs> we go to sleep at 6 a.m. <laughs> I have an average of waking up at 4 p.m. Zero, when do you play Doki Doki Bullshit? I don't know what mod that is. I don't want to play it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that I still have to put on my uniform and eat breakfast. I'm in my room to where it all started. Hoping I don't trip. Welcome back, Rally Guest. What is this mod about? We don't really know. <laughs> you were, you didn't miss much. We just woke up. <laughs> we had a weird dream, though. That's as much as we really got. Open the closet. I treat my uniform and get dressed. First day of senior year. Damn, where did it all go? I think back to the past three years of school, remembering the whole nightmare. God, school sucks. <laughs> and I sigh quietly to myself. This year? Th th this your last year? This is our last year. This is your, no, it's this is your last year. This is your last year. Just do the best you can and everything will turn out all right. I nod to myself in determination. 
I'm already counting the days until graduation. <laughs> I walk downstairs, I'm dressing up. Okay, so as far as we know, so so as far as we know from what I'm getting from this, this seems to be uh, just a retelling of the beginning of, of DDLC. Again, very, that's a now, of course, that's a very basic plot, you know, it's a very basic setup, but depending on what they do with it, it could be interesting. <laughs> It depends on how what people do with the, with the ideas. Determination. I like I like this MC when I played this mod. Okay, well Fox apparently says this MC is, he likes this MC, so I guess this MC has pretty good. God school sucks. <laughs> relatable MC. I agree, Erd. He is very relatable. This MC plays Undertale. <laughs> I scanned the cabinets for something easy to eat, since I don't necessarily feel like trying today. Wow, that's. <laughs> <laughs> That's this is, why is this MC so so relatable? <laughs> I was locking a box of cereal and I reluctantly reach for it with no alternative option. Not that I don't want cereal, but I think a fruit snack wouldn't be enough for today. I pour some in a bowl and scroll through my phone while eating. Notifications, no surprises there. The silence is interrupted by a text from mom. Have a great first day. Mom never misses a beat. If her dad, even if her and dad are away on a business trip. $10 donation for Blue Demo. Well, I thought it was Relegast. <laughs> <laughs> I was just expecting the donation message to be, you thought it was Relegast, but it was me. <laughs> I'm back, bitches. Lol, be ready for that one and keep up the good work, Zero. Well, thanks for the $10, Blue Demo, and welcome back. <laughs> They're barely ever home, but a load isn't that bad if you take everything into account. I finish up eating and start with the door with about as much enthusiasm as I woke up with. None. <laughs> the relic has in the comments. I'm coming! Wait! <laughs> also, I keep calling you Blue Demo. I should just- I should only call you Blue. I keep saying Blue Demo. I'm sorry. I'll try to keep- just only say Blue. And now the chat's filled with Undertale references. You feel your pen crawling on your paper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the air is cool with a slight breeze, but clouds cover the sky, creating a gray, depressing atmosphere. How fitting. The walk to school is longer than I remember. Maybe I'm dreading it more, or maybe I'm dreading it more, I just don't remember. No <coughs> way, I don't want to be here. <laughs> There's like a weird pause after before every transition. <laughs> Makes me think something's gonna happen. The cough too. Protectors counting your coughs. I forgot. Stop. <laughs> Looking fine. Whatever. How many coughs I have at the end of this? Oh yeah, we'll see how many coughs Monica has at the end of the stream. <laughs> Students flood the entrance, all seeming eager to find their new classes or maybe some friends. Oh. <laughs> I just try to make to my class without causing any problems. But what? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, what happened? I'm gonna throw a book at you. What's my first class? My thoughts halt as somebody slams into me at full force. Ah, what the? It was Sayori, wasn't it? I slowly open my eyes. I feel the eyes of many people gazing at me as I lie on the floor. So much are flying under the radar. Quickly gather my things from the floor and hurry to the, f to the f first block. First class, let's see how you will torture me. Oh, so we don't even know who hit us yet. <laughs> MC fucking dies. <laughs> so no one, so we don't even know who hit us yet. It was probably Sayori bumping into us. Calculus? What the hell? <laughs> I, just, I hate calculus. <laughs> Like, I never took calculus, but people explained to me what calculus was, and I was like, oh, fuck that. <laughs> no. Wait, what, what exactly is it? It's been so long, and I can't give you, like, an exact definition of what calculus is. Someone in the chat can probably do it, but I know it's, like, two things I hated in math. <laughs> no, wait, I think it's, like, it's math, but it's something else. That's the one thing that makes me hate it. It's math and something else. Mm. But it's a really annoying math. <laughs> Like, it's the worst math. <laughs> like, you know when people complain, saying like, Oh, when are we ever gonna use this? You're never gonna use calculus! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, everyone in the chat is saying math, math, it's dumb math. 
Math, very dumb math. I love math, and even I did. Jeez. See, Fox even likes math, and she hates it. Wow. Oh, there's the relic house donation. Yo, Zergamonica, I'm sorry I'm too poor to donate, but I've invested all my money in Club Penguin memberships for each month <laughs> right now, and I have 12 puffles, a double layered egg glue, and 347 outfits currently. Protector. Rella, how are you guys? Also, protect, also protect Y shipped. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I really do enjoy the Relic Gas slash Protector donations that messages. They just confuse me. How are you not dating? <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Uh, oh, oh, because Protector just said, I'm 15 and Rella's 20. It's illegal. <laughs> I see. Oh. Well, you guys could wait. <laughs> Wait till Protector's 18. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes the ship. <sighs> OMG, shut up. Okay, okay. The class is full of social people, e pe people eagerly chatting about almost anything. But I stay out of it. I remember when I used to be like that. With that girl from my childhood. What was her name? <laughs> S -s Something. Sonic. <laughs> Sonic? Sonic is best waifu from my childhood. S -s 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 Cindy? Sandy? <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> Sonic? <laughs> It'll come to me eventually. I sure off the thought as class begins. Just by looking at the teacher, I can tell it's gonna be a long year. Huh, like longer roads! <coughs> <coughs> you really wanted to Sorry. cough into that mic, didn't you? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no pats, no hugs, nothing. I've become very, getting very suspicious of everyone who tries because of Zero. What? What did I do? <laughs> what? Is that Fox saying that? Yeah, what did I do? Wait, so we're not allowed to hug her, pat her? No, or? I think she's saying Owen's allowed to. I, don't, I think we are. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Zero, you have to say it the way Fox spelled it. Zero. Okay, fine. Zero. After a grueling first day of classes and avoiding social situations, I can return to my safe haven. Home. <laughs> oh, because I figured out her weaknesses because of that. Oh, okay, that's why no one else can do it. Understandable. <laughs> I practically bolt out the door and make my way out. So, like, <laughs> are we going to see any of the girls? Or is this, a, is this an MC mod? Oh, subscription. For tier one, blue demo, subscribe for tier one sub. Thanks, blue demo. You now can use two of the emotes. Money dab and zero sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you wanna be you if you ever will feel like you wanna dab or if you ever wanna be sad. <laughs> As I'm walking towards the front door, as a thought from the morning comes back. What was that girl's name? I spent years with her. That was just slipping my mind. The thoughts continue to swirl about my head as I exit the school. Huh. Sarah? No, no, no. Oh, but it did start with an S. I'll have to look it up in the yearbook later. I brush my house following the long walk home. Finally, I've arrived. I lock the door and step inside with a sigh of relief before walking up to my room. Monica, why do you find this compatible? Maybe it's because you guys are always hanging out together and you're even in Relagas' donation messages. <laughs> you watch porn together, together. <laughs> <laughs> over discord share screen granted i think i'm pretty yeah. sure like it's okay if it's just you and the boys doing it <laughs> that is fine this is you and the boys doing you're watching some boku no pico <laughs> <laughs> but when it's like to when it is a male and a female you go hmm <laughs> the sunlight pierces through my window. So bright. I relax my back. The weight of my back coming off my shoulders feels a little relieving. My mind pauses. A dream! What the hell did it mean? <laughs> Such a familiar voice. Where do I know it from? My mind storms, struggling to pin to an identity to the voice in my dream. What could it have been? 
I'll start to sit down and match a shit! Fuck! <laughs> Did he fall? <laughs> <laughs> About time I got into the Z gang. Plus, then you call me. I think you call me blue demo again. God damn it! All right, yeah, blue or demo work. I'm gonna try blue. Try blue. A sharp pain flies to my body as I collapse the floor. <laughs> he just fell. What the hell? What happened? I still remember how I was flatlined before school today. Forgot about that. <laughs> Damn, it stings. I'm on the floor for a few minutes. Pain rifling through my body. I'm either really weak or got drilled by a linebacker. My self-humor fails me once again. After about five minutes, I got the strength to get up. I give my chair a disgusted look as if it's hit, as if it's at fault. <laughs> I need some painkillers before I try that again. Slowly, but surely, I make my way downstairs to the kitchen. <laughs> that dream I can completely relate, especially when my dreams are, see are scenes from the fanfic or, the or about me totally not trying to kill Monty or Zero. Of course! Totally not trying to kill us. <laughs> We're just having some tea, you know? I can see why people would get those confused. <laughs> tea time is right next to murder. Yeah. I need to get back in shape. <laughs> That is a big word. Ardusly? <laughs> Argusly. It's Argusly, I think. Argusly. Argusly opening the cabinets. I begin searching for medicine to dull this throbbing pain. When my hand finds the painkillers, I take them without hesitation. And set the table. <laughs> Put them in hand. I scroll through hoping for something, for something to catch my eye. Thankfully, something does. A brightly colored picture illuminates the screen. The school festival. It's months away. Wait, what? I read more on how the school will conduct the event. Same way as last year. No surprise. Wait, what? Months away? The school festival's- Oh, it's months away. Oh, wait, what is this story? Is this like, a prequel? This is either a prequel or it's just like a retelling. Because I don't know. Because it's saying it's months away. And if you remember, the school festival came out Monday. The school festival came out Monday, like the fucking game. Um, <laughs> the school festival happened like that Monday. So that's why I'm like, I think it was like a week after he joined the club. So, but this he's saying it happens like in three months. It's a prequel as of now. Yeah, uh, yeah, Blue. Like basically, as of right now, until I learn anything more, it's either a retelling or it's a prequel. Granted, if it's a prequel, we're not getting any characters. So I really don't think it's a prequel. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but I think Zerg and Monica have a thing for each other. Just saying. What? What? How could you say? How could you think that? Protector, come on. How are you just gonna ruin my choices like that, man? I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna confess. Come on, man. Keep it a secret. I told you that in confidence. <laughs> it's, it's nothing, Monica. What? It's nothing. I just... <laughs> Rumors, I tell you. I don't. I don't like you. <laughs> Zero. Zero. Anyway. Zero. Yes. I have a confession to make. <laughs> 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 I love you. I don't know. I, I don't know how to deal with this. I have to continue reading. <laughs> I read. I read more on how the school will conduct the event. Same way as last year. What a surprise. I finished reading the post and begin to head upstairs. Small amount of pain still lingering from earlier. Guess I might as well shower. Shower time! Shower time. As usual, I start the water and wait for it to warm up. Well, let's see how the bruises look. No bruise. The lack of any bruise intrigues and worries me. Am I superhuman? Or am I just blind? The thought escapes me as I shower in silence. Say that you love her back, or otherwise I'll get you in trouble with her again. Fine! I love you, Monica! <laughs> Yay! Gee. Everyone's trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I finish up my business and retreat to my room. It's already dark out? How long was I downstairs? The clock reads 9.30. 
My body collapses like a brick onto my bed. This is what I've waited for all day. Wait, I never figured out the dream! My mind immediately begins to race. Who? What? When? Why? Was it a vision of the future? Insanity? Or wishful thinking? My thoughts begin to drift as my body shuts down. I'll figure it out eventually. Sleep time. No, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah, the nicknames the chats have bestowed upon me. Certain people have their own. So we have Relagas calls me Zerp. <laughs> Protector, aka HD Neptunia in the chat, calls me calls me Zerg. <laughs> Emperor Zerg from Toy Story. <laughs> and then Fox calls me Zewo. <laughs> Those are the three that I've picked up on. Anyway, why are we in the club room? What is happening to our MC? Oh yeah, and I guess Penny calls me Comrade. Huh. Well, that's school. It's pitch black outside. Why just consume us like, who's there? Come and help me with this. Well, don't just stand there, Zero. Who the hell is this person? How does she know me? She retreats to the back of the room. Follow out of curiosity. She reaches up for a box. Looks like it's filled with books. Got it! She seems to barely grasp the box. I can tell she's struggling. Want me to take it? I got it! I stand behind her for safety measures. She slowly inches the box. Oh, the box collapses to the floor. Books scatter everywhere. <laughs> no! Wait, those aren't just books. They look like manga. And the girl scramble to the ground. The girl scrambles to the ground, hastily picking them all up, while also checking for creases. She looks up at me. Aren't you gonna help me? Yeah, sorry. I was uh just thinking. Whatever, just do something already. She immediately turns her focus back to the manga on the floor. Who is this person? Follow my pride and ask. Hey, what's your name? Dummy, you should know that. Well, I don't. Okay, fine, my name is... Damn it! What is it? Shut up! <laughs> I'm gonna die. There we go. Jesus. Ugly, I can call him Zero, Zero, my nickname. I gave him it. <laughs> Don't worry, Fox. I won't reply to anybody who calls me Zero that isn't you. There you go. <laughs> I shoot up to a sitting position in my bed. <laughs> we got Zero, Zerp, Zerg, and Zero. No, that's a Zeo. <laughs> I am Zeo! <laughs> What the hell was that? Who was that? How'd she know me? Am I going insane? <laughs> no, no, it's just a weird dream. That's all. I hope. <laughs> I slowly get up. The sun invading my eyes. It's freaking bright. The pain in my back seems to have subsided. Thank God. My mind retreats to my first thought. Two days in a row with a dream like that? Must mean something. This is a different person. At least the voice was different. I continue to think it over as I move towards the bathroom. <laughs> That's totally what I say to myself when I have a dream. <laughs> well, I'm glad you can relate with him, Fox. <laughs> Zero, can I nickname you one? You can nickname me anything, just as long as I can... As long as I am aware that you are talking to me. <laughs> Like, you can't just be like, oh, hey, Felix, and I'm just gonna be like, I don't... <laughs> Are you referring to me? I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, you can call me Z, that works. <laughs> okay, Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my phone's clock. 6.40. Keep this time in mind as I begin to shower. After drying up. I look at the man in the mirror, and I'm asking him to change his ways. <laughs> I noticed that my eyes are bloodshot. How? 
Well, I'm in up 10 minutes. And I already look like I'm done for the day. I move back to my room, but thought's still baffling me. I put my uniform on, and I hope nobody notices my tired eyes. Making my way downstairs, I begin to wonder about the people in my dreams. Who? Who are they? One sounded familiar, the other didn't. I check the clock. 6.50. Uh, it's still early. I could cook. I have to know how to cook in order to cook. <laughs> Remembering that, I just go for the cereal again. <laughs> it tastes bland as usual. Looking out the window, I see the sun in the blue sky. It's a beautiful morning outside. I finish eating, still admiring the scenic morning view. Maybe today will be better. Maybe. Maybe we'll actually see someone for once. Like, Jesus Christ. Our MC is such a loner. I mean, I guess technically this is just an average school day, but it's like, jeez. It's like, like, we almost went like 25 minutes without seeing a sprite until Natsuki showed up. <laughs> I walk out the door and feel a burst of fresh air. Weird. Yesterday it was pretty cold. Today it's kind of warm. I walk in silence, still pondering over my dreams. Maybe I'll find some answers today. I mean, the last one was based at school. I swiftly found my way inside the school upon arrival. Second day. How bad could it be? The walk to calculus is pleasant, considering I wasn't tackled today. Yay! I sit in my chair. No pain. Nice. Class begins, and so is the confusion. This is so confusing. I just don't get- I'm not cute! Here's someone in the hall. I know that voice! It was in my dream last night! I know I can't just get up and look out the door in the middle of class. Curiosity gets the best of me. I shoot out of my chair and scramble into the hall. I look around, nobody to be found. I know that I heard the voice. This person does exist. I turn to class somewhat disappointed that I couldn't find a face to pin to the voice. All eyes are on me as I enter the room. <laughs> They're just like, so, um, you want to tell us why you just fucking left class? <laughs> Find what you were looking for, Zero. I shake my head slowly and take my seat. <laughs> Teacher continues his lesson on whatever this is. I like how he, I didn't get in trouble for just getting up and looking outside and then going back to sit down. Teacher literally did nothing. This is such a laid back class, such a laid back school. What are we talking about? Oh, it's I'm pretty sure there's a fanfic of Sayori X Monica. Like, it happened in Summer Hope, but I've, I've seen art of Sayori X Monica, so I'm pretty sure it's fanfics. He's got to walk harder. Yeah. Uh, honestly, there's more. That ship is. <laughs> check Tumblr. <laughs> no. It's probably there. Don't touch Tumblr. It's a horrible place. So it's like, it's like Sayori X Monica is definitely it's a horrible place. I'm just saying, if you really want to look for it. Yeah. <laughs> Zero, your voice is sexy. I don't know how to take that compliment. <laughs> <laughs> A compliment. Thank you? <laughs> the day ends before I know it. At least today wasn't as bad as yesterday. Turning towards the window, I notice that it's still a beautiful day outside. I should go to the park or something. Not waste his day inside. And I agree with my idea, and then exit the room. So the people do exist. <laughs> so the people do exist, huh? I know it's a long shot, but am I gonna have those experiences in the future? Maybe. Students flood out of the doors, leave the campus. I eventually make my way out, but instead of going right to right to go home, I head left towards the park. Park time! Oh look at this! This has got a bench! What a good park! This is a beautiful park. It's beautiful. 10 out of 10. <laughs> one of my friends said that Zero never managed to irritate me, but it happened one time. Lock Fox. 
I apologize for when I for when I irritated you. What are what are people? What are people? What a beautiful day. The sun is up, shining bright with white clouds all over the light blue sky. Take a seat on a nearby bench and begin to think. Those people. I know I heard one of them today. I just know it. But who are they? Can you think about that for an hour? <laughs> After a while, I look up at the surrounding areas and see someone familiar. It's that girl with the S name! <laughs> I quickly hop to my feet and rush out of sight. Hopefully she didn't see me. I look up at the sky and decide it's time to go home. Okay, well, I guess- Look, it's Sayori! Well, no, time to never look at her. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sayori! It's Sayori! Ah! Human interaction! <laughs> <laughs> you apologize four times, I get it. I don't need a fifth time. <laughs> That's right. Because you know I'd give you a fifth time. <laughs> I walk with thoughts assaulting me. I really hope S-Girl didn't see me. <laughs> S-Girl? I really need to find our name. Again. <laughs> it's good to be home. Stomach leads me to the fridge. I'm starving. I find some pizza and a pack of biscuits. It's a bit improvised, but it'll have to do. I begin heating the food up and sit down to relax. <laughs> I don't want to hear your dumbass stories either, but you said I would hear it anyway. That's right! I will tell you a story, Fox. <laughs> tell a story right now. I can't, because then everyone else in the chat will be mad at me. <laughs> No, it's okay, do it. S girl and Z man. <laughs> <laughs> A few minutes pass, and I took the food out and began to eat. Wow, this tastes somewhat good. <laughs> As I eat, I notice the outside world losing sunlight. The oven clock reads 850. I still have to do homework. Then I take a shower. Trying to do a short, head upstairs toward the bathroom. What? You just gonna stop eating? This isn't me. <laughs> Had to drink. I feel like Snorlax, says Keith. Well, probably because you're tired. <laughs> I'll let the water run as I look in the mirror again. My eyes aren't red anymore. That's odd. It's probably nothing. I step in the shower and feel the ease of the warm water on my back. So nice. I dry off and head out in my room. After getting dressed, I sit down and do some homework. At least there's not much to do. All done, and it's only... 9.50. That's not bad. I guess I can go to bed now. I jump into my bed and immediately close my eyes. I'm so tired. <coughs> Where the hell are we now? Now we're gonna talk to Yuri, because we're in a library. He's like, geez. Is this a library? Why am I here? I take a look around, observing the various books on the shelves. So many books. I wonder how many there are. My thoughts come to a standstill. I'm not alone. I slowly step into the aisles, peeking through the shelves to see if I can find anybody. On the shelves, I spot a girl. She has purple hair, and her face is buried in a book. Slowly approaching her, I attempt to break the ice. Hello? She looks terrified. Ah, uh, hey. Uh, hi. Her voice is so soft, like she's afraid to speak. What are you doing here? J just reading. This is no good. She still seems nervous. What are you reading? She seems to relax a little. It's a rather interesting read called Portrait of Markov. Like the MW3 villain? No, that was Mark Markov. <laughs> I look down at the book. It's purple and somewhat thick. Are we talking about the book or are we talking about Yuri? <laughs> 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 like, what are we referring?
referring to here? You sure we're still talking about the book? <laughs> I mean, I will admit, Yuri is probably <laughs> he's probably pretty thick. If Yuri, I can say Yuri's somewhat thick. I'd agree with that statement. There are children here. <laughs> Why are children? If children are here and they're watching a DDLC mod, then they're fine. All right, more fucked up shit can be seen in DDLC mods. Well, obviously, Monica's the thickest. What's it about, if you don't mind me asking? She slowly closed the book, appearing far more relaxed now. Well, it's a very relatable story about who you can and can't trust. See, the main character must go through a series of- Oh my god, you didn't even continue talking. <laughs> See, the main character must go through a series of trials in which she must face- But I'm rambling now. <laughs> You're not rambling, Yuri. You barely even spoke. <laughs> Yuri, <laughs> come on, don't be like that. Our timid expression returns. That sounds interesting. Uh, yes, very. Something in her back catches my eye, reflecting sunlight in my face. Is that a knife? It's probably best not to ask. <laughs> Would you like to read with me? My mind goes into a panic. What do I do? I speak without thinking. Uh, sure, but I didn't catch your name. You should know it. You should know it by now, Zero. Hearing this sends a horrible chill down my spine. It slipped my mind this one time. I'm sorry. Okay, fine. My name is. Damn it! <laughs> Alarm clock! If you do not shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> Thank you. This is gonna be a thing now? Just we're gonna keep having dreams about almost knowing their names? Yes. That's. This is just. A, you know when people are like, oh yeah, this is a Sayori mod. This is a Yuri mod. This is a Natsuki mod. This is a Monica mod. This is an MC mod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Main focus is MC. Yeah. As I drink my Coke. It sucks being the only person commentating when you have to drink Whoa. something. Why are you doing drugs? What? You don't drink cocaine, even. <laughs> even? Oh my god. You don't even drink cocaine, Monica. Who said it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure you have to snort that shit. You can smoke it, too. See, Zero's doing drugs. I was just about to say, I don't know because I don't do drugs. <laughs> I would know it if I did drugs. <laughs> <laughs> then Raleigh guys is like, is that where all my money's going towards? It's fine, Coke. It's drug money! <laughs> Zero, we saw that bong. <laughs> what do you mean? That's just my coat hanger. <laughs> Th those two things are not similar in the slightest. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Alright, jolt up. Nearly falling out of my bed. The dream is horrifying. How do they know my name? How do they all know my name? That's what it is. How do they all know my name? Three days. Three dreams. Three different people. Oh, so the first one must have been Monica then. The one with the, uh, the path? And it said, like, come on? That must have been Monica. I would assume. Granted, this next dream will probably be the one to decide who the beginning character was, but I'm still somewhat convinced the beginning one was Monica. Yep, I'm losing my mind. Zero, I think the switch you made on Yuri's voice is a good call. It must be a bit easier on the vocal cords. Yeah, it kind of is. I get up and head to the bathroom subconsciously. Usual routine by now. The shower's warm, a little warmer than I remember. My mind races as I think about dreams. A forest, a classroom, a library. What's the significance? Oh wait, Natsuki's is the classroom because that's her only place she feels safe reading her manga. 
And then Yuri's the library because she likes books. Why? But then I don't. I don't know why Sayori or Monica would have a forest though. Um, because you're in a relationship and then you want to go for a walk in the forest because it's pretty and nice and romantic. I don't really know. Like I don't know what would make. I don't know what the forest was. <laughs> Sayori is a monkey. Duh. Of course. <laughs> Zero, I think it's an alarm clock mod. You're right. The alarm clock's the main character. He's always here. I don't know. We'll just have to see what it means. Monica sure does love the forest. Yeah, she does. I heard all three voices. I recognize only one. People I have seen, I don't recognize. Oh, okay, wait. He said, oh, the first one's Sayori. The first one's Sayori, though, because he said he recognizes the voice. Yeah. So, and I'm pretty, and since Sayori's the only one who he actually used to be, who he used to actually know a long time ago, it would make sense for her to be the voice that he recognizes. So that means the first one has to be Sayori. Plus, Sayori and MC walking through a forest does sound like something they would do. Yeah, Monica's room would probably be the music room. Yeah, I agree. I agree with Penny. It would most likely be the music room. I finish up and go back to my room. My thoughts bouncing around still. I look at the clock. 7.20. Shit! I'm gonna be late. I'm randomly dressed and practically sprint out of my house. How is it already this late? Can't afford to be late. It's only the third day. The the, exo, the, exo, the exodus, the exodus, the exodus of people was difficult to navigate through, but I made it. Around every corner without caution. I realize I'm still running. <laughs> I probably look stupid considering I'm not even late. I slow my pace to a walk, remembering how much I hate running. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still running. I then stopped running because I remembered I don't like running. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> my body screams for air as I drag my feet to my first class. At least I made it on time. Cutting it a little close, don't you think, Zero? I can say that. I realized class started as soon as I sat down. I look back and nod at the teacher. Another calculus lesson awaits us. Great. <laughs> Third period. Mystery. Not the best class, but definitely not the worst. My mind is elsewhere, though. I'm still trying to decipher the S name, girl. The wave of revelation hits me. Sayori! That's her name! Finally! Everyone in class turns to look at me. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said that out loud. Sorry, just, uh... Remembered something. I slowly avert their gaze. <laughs> the teacher continues lecturing and the attention shifts from me. Thank God. <laughs> Sayori, how could I forget that? We didn't live on the same street. I wonder how she's doing. Well, these thoughts come in my mind for the rest of the day. Wait, fuck! I just realized something. I've been saying her name back to the wrong way. It's Sayori. I know, and I've been saying Sayori again. Sayori. Damn it! It is weird to go back to. I think I've, I think I messed it up too. I think I say I think I say her name differently when I'm Monica though. No, you don't. I don't. I say Sayori. I could have swore I said Sayori when I was Monica. Sayori, when you say when you Monica. No, what? Her her name's annoying. Her name's Say Sayori. I'm pretty it's sure. Sayori. It's I'm pretty sure it is Sayori, because I'm pretty sure when Dan was streaming the game, he said Sayori. Dan hates it when we, when we take the things... Because you're supposed to... Because for the joke Sayonara to work, you have to say it like Sayonara, so Sayori. Yeah. You can't say Sayori. Sayonara. Yeah, say, Sayori, sounds, Sayori sounds better. Say, more Sayori better. sounds more formal, and, say, and Sayori just sounds like you're just saying it as it looks. Uh -huh. Everyone sigh, Ori. Sigh, Ori. Yeah, but the bot would have made a straw poll. No, 
Let's Why don't you up. make the straw poll? Yeah, I'll make the straw poll. I gotta figure this out. Final class ends, then students surge out of the school. All eager to get home. I walk a bit slower. Still in thought. Also, the reason why I don't want to do the say one or say two is because then it'll be hard to count you guys. It's easier to just do a poll. So Monica's going to make the poll and it'll be posted and you guys can do your votes. Because I'm curious. The halls are nearly empty by the time we get out of class. The silence is almost unsettling. Only a few stragglers are left. Making their way out, way to clubs now. Something catches my attention. The shade of purple. From the dream? This is way too much of a coincidence. My curious soul follows the purple like a cat in a laser pointer. It's her. From the dream. She doesn't seem to notice me. My mind immediately hits reality. I'm following a total stranger because of a dream. I need to turn around. <laughs> nah, I need answers. <laughs> what I see now truly stuns me. The girl from the second dream? Pink hair? Certainly something flashy. They don't see me, thankfully. Should I bail now? When I finally decide what I'm doing is borderline creepy. <laughs> My body retreats from the situation and I walk out of the building. See ya, Titanfall. Thanks for stopping by. Oh fuck, wait, why can't I see the results not after you posted it? Where did it go? Wow, Sayori's winning. That's upsetting. <laughs> I'm voting too. How do I vote? You guys know I'm drawing right now, so I'm not gonna really be talking. Oh, okay, Fox. I hope you are happy with your drawing. And if you feel comfortable sharing it with me, I'd love to see it. But you probably aren't, so which is fine. <laughs> Ah, all right, let's do this. Screw the poll. I saw the poll. Sayori was winning and I'm upset. <laughs> After three days, I finally have led- I finally have a lead of some sort. Zero, stop doing that. Stop doing what? What did I do? They do exist, but do they know me? They're in a pretty remote part of school. How many clubs are held there? Maybe they're just friends or part of a smaller club that I've never heard of. Wait, relaxation comes over me as I approach my house. Like, I honestly think it's Sayori just because it makes more sense with Sayonara. I'm trying to suggest showing you when you clearly know I'm not, but saying it's out loud. I'm sorry! <laughs> I didn't know. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know it would make you embarrassed like that. I won't say it out loud like that anymore. I'm sorry. You can go back to your drawing. Finally, a day where I can just sit back and watch some TV. Head to my room, I'm excited to relax. TV flicks on and I browse the streaming app. Guess I'll watch this. It's called The Office. Oh, it's The Office. I never actually watched The Office, but I know it's funny. <laughs> my parents always watch that. I've seen like funny moments from it and stuff. I've never actually seen it though. It looks interesting. No, me what? <clears throat> the meme where the guy's like, no! There's a it's lot of memes bad. from The Office. It looks interesting. Might as well try it out. Seeing as I've got nothing else to do. The episode ends as I break from its trance to look outside. It's pitch black. I wasn't watching that long. Was I? I swallowed my head to check the clock. 10.30, Jesus! Wow, I really lost track of time. My body begins to realize how tired, how tired it really is. It's hitting me like a truck as I try to get into bed. Damn, I really am a bum. <laughs> At least I have no homework. Hopefully. The moon shining through my window almost puts me to sleep instantly. <laughs> I really am a bum. Oh wow, no dream. Huh. But it's playing the Monica music. It's playing the Act 3 music, though. The sun is incredibly bright. Did I oversleep? The clock says... Midnight? It's like a midday sun! Did my clock break? Am I running late? In that kit, that was my front door. Are mom and dad home? No, they're not due back for another week. I get up, grabbing a baseball bat from my closet. I cautiously make my way to the living room. Ah! 
<laughs> Someone is sitting down, looking away from me. Ah! Ah! It's a cute girl! <laughs> in my house! <laughs> he relates to Zero. Whenever we're talking to each other in DMs, never pay attention to time. I really don't pay attention to time when we talk in DMs, Fox. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't pay attention to time a lot of the time. What do I say? Um, excuse me. Oh, hi, Zero. This person knows me? I've never seen this girl in my life. Sorry, I let myself in. He didn't answer any texts. I pull out my phone. 14 texts from, uh... The screen is kind of blurry there. I guess I just didn't see them. Typical Zero. Hey. I don't know this person, but that still felt like an insult. <laughs> I still felt that insult. <laughs> How dare you, Monica? <laughs> Wait, what time is it? My phone still says midnight. Hey, uh, do you know what time it is? Uh, no. All of your clocks seem to read 12. You should really get them fixed sometime. What about the day? It's Saturday. Why? Oh, good. I'm not missing school. Um, Zero, we don't go to school anymore. We graduated eight months ago. What? I don't even remember graduating. Wait, does this mean Monica's my girlfriend in this? I can accept that. <laughs> I can take it. <laughs> Wait, we graduated? Yeah, we're in college now. Oh gosh, remember what we were like? I don't even remember going to bed! <laughs> what do you mean? School, the club. Club? Oh, don't tell me you forgot already. Uh, I did. I also forgot your name. Damn, that was forward, <laughs> and that was a donation. Oh, lucky Lagomorph coming with the 22 bucks. Must donate, always donate, will donate. <laughs> Thank you, lucky Lagomorph. I appreciate it a lot, you good man. <laughs> of course you could because you're in a relationship with Monty. You're right, <laughs> you're right, Fox. <laughs> donate, <laughs> lucky Lagomorph is the robot now. He just donates now. He's, that's his only function. <laughs> he just must donate. Will donate. Zero, you forgot? It's slipping my mind right now. I'm sorry. Well, you do seem a little bit off today. Alright, I'll remind you. Please just tell me your name. Please. Finally. Okay, okay, Zero, my name is Nick! <laughs>